Stanislaw here from Motion VFX with another tutorial for M Puppet. In this example, we will be looking at how to use motion and behaviors to create animation. Let's get started. Inside Apple Motion, I have a character with an alpha channel on top of a background layer. I have M Puppet applied to my chef with the inspector open and ready to create handles. Let's start with adding handles and creating the puppet mesh for animation. When working with characters, it's a great idea to place handles where there may be joints or pivot points to create more natural movements. Our chef will be juggling different ingredients, so I've added a couple handles to his fingertips which will create a very organic kind of movement to his hands. Creating a handle for his head, we can move it back and forth. Inside the inspector under my filters, I can explore the different handles. Each handle in M Puppet has a unique name and number to differentiate them from each other. Hovering your mouse over the different handles in the canvas will display a tooltip that lists which handle it corresponds to in the inspector. Back inside the inspector, under the handle controls, we can create keyframes like we normally have in Final Cut. But next to our keyframe icon in Apple Motion, we have a drop down arrow. Clicking on the drop down arrow, we can add a behavior to the chosen handle. Let's add an oscillate behavior to this handle. The oscillate behavior will move our handle back and forth based on the settings in the behavior controls. I'll change the speed and amplitude to create and fine tune the animation. Moving the second handle, I can see the chef's feet are moving a bit uncontrollably. This is why it can be important to make sure you have handles on our different joints. Placing handles on his feet can help keep them in place. I'll add another oscillate behavior, adjusting the settings in the inspector. I can preview this in real time and adjust the different settings until I'm satisfied with the results. Now that we have some animation in our chef, let's add some more elements to make this animation a bit more exciting. I'll place my different elements into my scene and adjust them using the inspector controls. In this case, I'm scaling them down and placing them roughly in place. I'll use the shape tool to create an arc path that I'd like these different ingredients to follow. What's great about shapes is they can be used as paths for behaviors. I'll just make my shape and line it up. Inside the inspector, I'll convert it to points. This takes it from a shape to a piece of geometry to use as a path for our ingredients. Since we're using this to drive our animation, we don't necessarily need to see it, so I'll turn off my circle layer in the layer stack. I'll apply motion path onto my ingredient and change the path shape to geometry to use the shape we created and modified. This will create a drop zone well in the inspector in which I'll drag and drop my circle path. During playback, I can see this tomato is following this path. I'll adjust the settings and now it's following this path the way I'd like. Let's use M Puppet again and give this tomato a little bit more wiggle. I'll drag and drop M Puppet onto our tomato and add a couple of handles. Inside the handles, I'll apply another oscillate behavior and adjust the speed and amplitude to give it a bit of that shake. There's several parameter behaviors to choose from, like the link behavior. With the link behavior, we can drive animation from one parameter to another. I'll add another oscillate behavior to this tomato and change its speed to give it a more natural movement. What's great about motion is you can adjust these as you're playing it back to make these changes in real time. So you can animate very quickly instead of having to adjust keyframes and move back and forth. 
using these same techniques, I've added more behaviors to the rest of our ingredients. MPuppet makes it really easy to create complex animations in Apple Motion and Final Cut Pro. What will you make with MPuppet? For more information about MPuppet and other great tutorials and plugins for Final Cut Pro and Apple Motion, make sure you visit motionvfx.com. I'm Stanislaw Liberta with Motion VFX. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.